What if you could build a minecart station where you could just get in and go? This design here allows you to do that. So basically, how this thing works is as soon as I go into this string here, this um, power rail will turn on. And how we actually do this is with this little machine, which actually powers the rail, but the rail doesn't update, so it doesn't know that it's powered until the string updates the block. So I'm going to teach you guys how to build this. Uh, this is actually a huge improvement over JL2579's design. So let's go right over here, and I'm going to show you guys how to build this. It's a really, really simple. And then we'll talk a little bit more about how it works and how I came up with it. And all right, guys, let's just go over here. Alrighty, guys, so to do this, you are going to want to make a nice little um, 3 by 3 actually a 3 by 3 by one high little cube here and leave the center hollow. Then on the side that you or that you want to be, I guess that would be, like, pretend that this is where the minecart station where you actually did on is. The side that you want to be going, the direction you want to be going in, is where you're going to place that one extra block. So I'm going to place that right there. Then you can knock out the block below that. Place a redstone torch on it. Then you're going to turn left. Place a piston. Place a detector rail. Then right here you're going to place some redstone dust. And the repeater. Over here, you're going to place some redstone dust and the repeater. Then on top of the redstone torch, you're going to place a dispenser facing this way. Actually, no, excuse me. You're going to place a block on top of that. Then on that block, you're going to place a dispenser facing that way. Then you're going to go ahead and build your little um, minecart boarding area. And then to actually activate the system so it will work perfectly, you just need to place your powered rail, your detector rail, and then your powered rails that will go to the next area then place your string on top of the powered rail and then go ahead to this block right here or this one it doesn't matter and you're just going to place a redstone torch under there or you can put a lever on the side and you can just place it and then get rid of it and so now whenever you go into this it will actually um, activate the um, powered rail and then as soon as the minecart goes by it will hit this um, detector rail which will reset the system so it will look like that again and it will dispense a minecart for you. Uh, this is actually a huge improvement over JL2579's design because his design was I believe like nine deep, four wide, and five long, something crazy like that where it was just too big to build and I was really reluctant to building his minecart station just because of how big of a design it was so I hope you guys can use this. Um, also guys I had a little error I was recording um uh, the first episode in a Feed the Beast series, um, it's going to be called Danky Drank Feeds the Beast, but unfortunately, I did well recorded, and I'm getting ready to upload it, and I decide I want to play some Feed the Beast, so I go, and I open up my Feed the Beast client, and the world isn't there, so apparently, what had happened was, I forgot to, um, I forgot to reassign the, um, folder where it keeps all the world saves, and so that was my downloads folder, and I occasionally clear out my downloads folder. And so, unfortunately, I deleted my map, and I had a great 30-minute episode, but I'm not going to upload that now, just because of the fact that I won't be able to continue playing on that world. So I'm going to be making a new Feed the Beast world, and I will hopefully be uploading content from that sometime this week or next Sunday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys can use this in your own design and for now guys this is danky drank h2o peace by the way i hope you guys enjoyed the new intro